Hello you all, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot, it's Rav and in this whole video we're going to look into Gemini a week December 21st to December 26th, 27th, December 27th, a uh, 2020 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards guys just to remind you that there is a, a flash sale uh, exclusive for the Facebook following uh, that offers you the tarot classes, the minor arcana tarot classes on 50% off of the price and the major arcana tarot classes for the 35% of the price, major major sale. So if you do want to take uh, participation into it, just become a, a Facebook uh, follower of mine. The link to my Facebook page you are going to find into the description down below and just give me a message on the Facebook wall messages or rather like Facebook page messages. So that being said, moving into the uh, Gemini uh, weekly tarot reading here. Now the first card we do have, which stands for the topic of your week, Gemini, that is to be the Nine of Swords. Uh, moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic of the week. Can you see the cards? Yeah, okay. So that is going to be the Eight of a Pentacles. Followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you will have to face and overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Three of Pentacles. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the Two of Swords. Uh, followed by the next one, which stands as the impression that you are leaving into the people around. What, what does people see when they look at you? That is to be the Four of Pentacles. Uh, followed by the obstacles which are to and predicaments which are to hold you back and down that is to be the six of cups afterwards we do have the positive aspects of the week that are gonna help you push forward that will be the eight of cups and the last one we have for you Gemini and that is to be the guidance the tarot is offering we do have the tower card right so um, this week is going to be rather very interesting when it comes to you, Gemini. Uh, it does look like that uh, for, throughout the week you're going to find a way how to, um, in generally, tackle with certain aspects of your life and certain questions, let's say it that way, or, or a certain situations that thus far you probably didn't have either the resources to tackle with or you didn't have the time or you have not predisposed to do so. However, the energies which are to uh, support you and in general to give a momentum to your week are going to uh, make you look at those um, situations. They may not be uh, kind of like problems. They could, these are a situations that thus far you run away from. And uh, uh, the energies are going to make you look at those situations with uh, a conscientiousness. And instead of avoiding them, instead of kind of like postponing the inevitable, for example, uh, you are to gather up your strength and uh, look at them as a, uh, how can I say, um, look at those uh, situations through the prism of a keen eye for the subtleties, for the minor details out there, and, and pretty much aim to either make it work or to wrap the things around. Now, uh, that itself is going to make your week a week where you're going to be able to clear out and clear up a lot of a questions, a lot of a uh, stagnant, how can I say, circumstances as well, a lot of uh, conversations also that thus far you either didn't have the strength nor, nor the mood to, uh, to carry on with. Or in other words, you, Gemini, are about to face your fears and... Um, to overcome them, right? So if you are afraid to say something or to, to do something, that is not going to be the case through the upcoming week. Now, this specific um, trial or ordeal, if you will, that you are going to go through will allow you to afterwards make an initiation of a thing you planned or a thing you have prepared for for a long time and make it a, a long lasting enterprise. Moving next, we do have the uh, challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. That is the challenge of the Three of Pentacles. So challenging wise, Three of Pentacles is about accepting uh, the uh, points of view of others. Very different, however, from the Swords cards and from the, um, how can I say, um, temperance, right? 
here people were going to pretty much pick point what you are doing wrong and why you are doing it wrong. So you are to face a huge portion of a criticism into the upcoming week. And uh, what is going to be challenging for you is to understand that this criticism isn't to bring you down in any way, but to simply make you better. Uh, so you have to take a full participation or you should aim to take a full participation into the upcoming conversations and cooperations, because those conversations and those cooperations are solely met to uh, support you through your development, regardless if this development is about your career or if it is about your relationship or, or love life or a personal life. Uh, generally, the lead to the Three of Pentacles is so you can find your so you can find yourself set on the shores and in front of you it's an ocean of a opportunities. Moving next, we do have the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Two of Swords. So, <sighs> the fact that you will have to face your fears and that you will have to pretty much uh, acknowledge the criticism of others doesn't mean that you are going to freak out for throughout the week. Just on the contrary, here is a gift and blessing. Um, you will be able to maintain your balance. There is no other word that I can say it. So you will be able to maintain your balance and, uh, that's, uh, and for that you are gifted with peace and uh, with, uh, how do you say it? Peace and calmness for throughout the week. So you are going to peacefully and calmly just take it one by one, you know. All the criticism, all the uncomfortable situations, all the uncomfortable circumstances in front of you. But also the gift that you are going to enjoy is that with ease, you are not going to make any presumptions, at least for not throughout the week, but instead you will learn to consider or rather like to you will learn how to before you decide whatever you are to do either with your career or with your relationship or with your marriage and so on and so forth how to consider all points of view and that will help you take that criticism much easily than before for you alone are going to be to acknowledge your own mistakes now, other people are not perfect either, okay? But here you have to acknowledge your own mistakes. So, uh, what is going to be the, uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around? That is the impression of the Four of Pentacles. And whenever people see you, they are going to uh, pretty much see a person that have established or secured their certain future. They're going to see a person who is willing and determined to, to take a defensive position for what they have as a possession and a person who does have pretty strict domain and none that it is unwanted is allowed to trespass that domain moving forward. So people are going to see very, very solid character in you, a, a, a character that at this particular point um, almost nothing is in shape or any form to pretty much knock them off a uh, balance. A character that it is stepped firmly into the ground, willing to take a responsibility for their actions and for their decisions as well. So moving next, we do have the uh, obstacles which are going to hold you back and down. And it's pretty self-explanatory here with the Six of Cups. Um, I, I, it's just a couple of words for that card. Uh, what is going to hold you back and down is the lack of glee and content for that you will have to pretty much deal with those uncomfortable, like I said, conversations, criticism, um, situations, circumstances, etc, etc. It's just there will be no pleasure. Uh, so how you can overcome that? Uh, focus on the pleasure you're going to have after you clear those misunderstandings out. That is, that is how you do overcome the, uh, the Six of Cups. Now, in more practical manner, that card could point something with, um, with children, but not 
anything bad that it is to happen. If that's the case, it is just your children are going to consume more time than usual that you will have otherwise, uh, how can I say, um, attached, not attached, but scheduled that time to be for a something else. And it is just, you know, you cannot say no to your kids, or at least I could not say uh, no to kids. And uh, just because you are putting more time to your children or whatever children they are around you, you will have to catch up on time with, other, uh, with the other enterprises, meaning that you will have to find a way how to do double time on, uh, the, um, on the serious enterprises outside of your family um, circumstances. So uh, moving next, we do have uh, the things which are going to the positive aspects of the week, which are going to push you forward or are going to help you push your things forward. So that is the Eight of Cups, another self-explanatory card here. And that is uh, the uh, acknowledgement of that the situation is as it is, right? And uh, you just have to resign about it, do the most you can to the best of your, uh, your abilities with it and just move forward. For the best is yet to come, for what this, this card is promising, and much brighter perspectives, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, are, uh, are awaiting you moving forward into the future. So, to me, uh, for you, Gemini, it seems that this is, and it's very fitable for a last week of, uh, of December, one of the last weeks of December, this is where you know you're clear things out from 2020, for example, that could not have been cleared out beforehand. You just want to make a fresh start at 2021, and uh, it is, uh, and to the best of your abilities, this is what you will try to do. Now, not everything is going to work out. Well, for some it's going to, but for some it won't. And uh, at the end of the day, you will know that at least you had tried, all right? And uh, that will kind of like liberate your soul to, uh, to move forward with your life. And the last card we do have, that is the Guidance, and this is the Tower card here. So uh, Guidance-wise, the Tower card pretty much teaches us, teaches you in this particular case, that um, if you do attend to the unpleasant circumstances with, like I said, conscientiousness, and uh, a sense of care and you aim to do the most out of the situation, there is no other way than the situation ends with positive cleansing and nurturing effects on your life. So enough running, Gemini, just face your fears, if I may say it that way, uh, face your responsibilities, face the circumstances of your actions and you are to be transformed. So with that being said, guys, um, this was your uh, general weekly tarot reading for the upcoming week, December 21st to uh, December 27th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.